Hello my crochet friends! Welcome back to my channel! And if you have not been here before, you are so welcome as well! My name is Linda, I am from Norway but I live in Spain, I am a teacher and I love to crochet. Today I am filming this uh, intro for the video but I've already completed uh, the video so this is in the uh, after um, aftermaths well it's after filming the content the content this is actually 50 percent of the content for this video it looks like i made myself a scarf that was not the plan but maybe i could use it as a scarf as well actually this is a runner for for my beds because i am going to rent my house out this summer and then I, uh, well, my friend told me that it would be nice since I crochet if I would make some runners for the bed, for the end, for the feet of the bed and put them on uh, there. It would be nice to have something colorful. So I made two of these and you will see me what making them during this video and see how they turned out. And I'm going to show you some photos of how, of how everything turned out with the um, yeah, with the washing. Well, not. I'm not going to show you how we washed the house, but I mean, you can see pictures of how it turned out after the cleaning and after putting on the new beddings and uh, the towels. And of course, these crochet runners that I really like. This is one with the blue endings and then there is one with uh, peach endings. So that being said, please enjoy this video and if you like what you see, press the subscribe button and uh, the thumbs up. <laughs> Here I got a stack of eight granny squares in the same size but with different patterns. The only thing that is similar or the, the same is that the peach color and the yellow color is on the border. That's the outer part. But these three colors here inside vary on every well, maybe not on every, but on these, uh, yeah. So I have eight of this yellow and I'm going to add them together in a long, what I call the runner, as I told you in another video. And uh, then I am, yeah, I'm going to add them together in a long row. And I think I'm going to use blue outside. And then I have another pile here of the blues, but these are the same. All of them are the same. So these I'm also going to connect, and I think I will go. I'm going to use the peach color as the border outside. It could have been the yellow, but I think the peach will be even better. Since we are in here in my storage room, I uh, think it's uh, quite. Uh, Good to show you how it looks like now that it's so packed. So take a look at this. It is really, really stacked. It is so full of things. I got the beds from IKEA. I got a big screen in front of me. This is where I normally put my uh, camera when I'm working here. I have the light. Uh, I have uh, this dresser and all of my this, these hanger things when I exhibit when I show my items I have a lot of yarn I have new shelves up here there is some room for some more things uh, here is a big shelf as well and here are more shelves so it's kind of stacked it's so full all over the place a lot of yarn so this is my storage room now and uh, well this is where i sometimes crochet right so now it's now being packed with all of this stuff so um it's not so nice to be working in here now but i guess i'll get used to it and of course i can move out these uh, these beds of course put them in another room now that i'm not renting out and uh well yeah it works it really does with that being said, let's continue. I have almost completed the second panel, the runner for the beds. The other one I completed yesterday and yesterday was Friday before Easter holiday. Well, 
I have a week off now. And uh, I was, uh, well, yesterday my friend and her team will, would come in, or was coming in to, uh, to clean the house and lay the beds and everything. It was a big job. They were here for eight, nine hours, two people, and some of the time three people. And uh, they got everything done, and we've taken the pictures and everything. So I didn't use this for the pictures. I had to use the other one that was already finished. You can see them here in the picture. Uh, but I want to complete it because I had only got a little bit left. So that then I will have two, and I will put them on the beds when um, the, the guests arrive. <clears throat> other things that has happened is that we have this Kalima. So uh, <laughs> yesterday, uh, uh, no, we ha yeah, we have this Kalima, and uh, luckily it's not raining at the same time like it did just no, two years ago. Two years ago it was terrible. I'm going to link up here or down in the description a video that I made here. I put it on YouTube two years ago, uh, just one or two minutes long. And it is a Norwegian, but the picture speaks from this for themselves. Uh, that was how it was, um, how the Kalima was when it was uh, mixed with rain. So it was really, really muddy, all of it. It was terrible. And uh, interesting, but terrible. So um, have a look at that video if you want to know how the Kalima affects us. The, <clears throat> oh, I'm making a mistake here now. So hopefully it will um, not be worse than it is now. It is cloudy, kind of, well, it's cloudy outside. That means it's white but reddish on the sky because of the sand from Africa, from Sahara. Well, will you look at this sky? It is so red. I'm not sure if it's seen well on the camera, but the sky is really, really red. So, um, we don't... <clears throat> and <coughs> it affects our throat a bit because the sand, it's really powdery. So it gets everywhere. It gets stuck everywhere. And um, when it's a really lot, people or the government advise us to stay inside and to uh, yeah not open the windows <laughs> I guess that's why I have my door open <laughs> well so I guess that's why I have this voice right now finished yes just weaving in the two ends that I have on this and then I will be I will be done I'm going to show you well, you can see in these pictures here how my um, house looks now, or how the rooms look for the, for, the, for the guests. I have two big rooms. I'm thinking when I'm going to rent out my house and I'm com uh, comparing prices with other rent outs, they have like three bedrooms or four bedrooms and they take a, quite a lot. And maybe they have like six, seven beds. I have two bedrooms, but they are huge. My room is huge. Look at, take a look at this. It's a bit disorganized again, but look at this size. It is amazingly big. It's huge. So I have a sofa bed. Uh, apart from my bed that is a 135 centimeters wide, I have a sofa bed that is 150. And um, in the... Um, uh, yeah, and I can even fit two small um, IKEA beds. Not small; they're well, they're um, seventy-five centimeters wide, but they're the whole length. I can fit those two in this room as well. And in the other room, there are five beds. Four that's comfortable, but there is one extra under the bunk bed. So there are three le levels. Uh, on the bunk, bunk beds. So you could fit five people in there and actually six people in here. So up to 11 per people. So I can have a lot of people, but you 
I guess you don't have to be very good friends or maybe be one family or two small families or something. Uh, one huge family <laughs> or um, some small, two small families. But we'll see how it goes. I'm really looking forward to having a week off now. And I was preparing myself to have to, that I had to uh, be using the majority of my time. I, I was pre preparing myself to be using the majority of the time, arranging everything and uh, taking those pictures. But my friend yesterday, come on, now you take the picture of the terrace. Come on, now you take the picture of this 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 table now you take a picture of this this room so it went uh, kind of like in a hurry but not in a hurry uh, but it went quickly so everything was done and we moved things out of my room so it could be it could be taken nice pictures from there and I moved from room to room <laughs> um, of course my uh, personal items um, oh, well you should, see, you should see my storage room now it is kind of packed I can enter, but it's kind of difficult for me to sit there and crochet now. I think uh, I have a, a big screen in front of uh, in front of me on the desk. There is there are two beds. The the, the IKEA beds are uh, behind me, so I have to sit really tight until the until the the desk. But I will, uh, yeah, that's how it is. Now I'm finished, done. I'm going to put this on the bed now and I'll let you see how it looks like, what it looks like. Here it is now on the bed, the runner. This was what I was talking about, wanting to have it like this on the bed. I think it's look, it looks kind of nice. So it's complete. I finished it. I think that will be all for now for this video. It is not the longest video. I guess it will be under 15 minutes, but not all have to be uh, 20 or 30 minutes. So um, I'm happy with what I've done this time. Not a lot, of, a lot, but um, together with showing you my uh, house, how it turned out, it's okay. So now I am doing my next project, trying to replicate or at least uh, take inspiration of my own cardigan, this one. To make a new one not the same size of course not this big and i don't like well i don't love the back i like it but i don't love it so the back will be different but the front will be more or less the same just the proportions of course will be different so i guess you will be able to see that in the next video or something like that so thank you so much for watching and uh, hope to see you soon and uh, please leave a comment down below or uh, or and subscribe if you like what you see. So that being said, thank you so much and bye bye.